Excuse me. Let's talk! Alright, so we just got out of uh, seeing Godzilla, and we'll try to do as few spoilers as possible. Godzilla dies in the end, first of all. <laughs> Before going into this, I was told that this was directed by a Godzilla fan, and I do have to agree, it felt like fan film. But the guy that directed it and wrote it definitely enjoyed Godzilla movies. Like he, he really knew what they were about. Brian Cranston, as usual, He's so good. He gets so emotional when he's acting. And I really buy to his character. It was an awesome roller coaster ride. And for someone who hasn't seen any Godzilla movies prior, except for that one in 1998, which we're not even going to talk about. That's a lot of fish. There weren't a ton of action set pieces, which I kind of liked because, you know, look what he did. It all kind of built up to one gigantic action scene towards the end, which was well worth the wait. You finally find something that feels, looks, and sounds gargantuan like these really are. It's like, it's the T-Rex out of Jurassic Park all over again. There's kind of a tone to it, it reminded me a lot of Jurassic Park, um, which is an, a really good thing. They knew how to shoot giant monsters, they knew how to make the monsters look giant. And they knew how to giant. sound behind them. A lot of work clearly went into this, so if you're a fan of Godzilla, or even just Wait, wait, Jordan! <laughs> I heard you were in town, man! Yeah. What's up? Because, so like, what these, all right, so these are my friends from college. Oh, hey, what's up? We just been talking in the middle of a review here. Hey, hey what's up? You owe me my pants, you dirty bastard. No, for, first impression, uh, I, I really liked it a lot. Definitely see it, a lot of fun. Excuse me while I go see it again. I don't know, giant monsters killing shit.